I really want to focus this, this channel more around developing in Africa. We have moved, we've been moving, so moving to Africa series will probably come to a close now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we're all about leveling up, elevating, and living our absolute best lives. Today is an update video and I'm so rude. Let me start off by saying Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. It's been forever. I think this is one of the longest I haven't dropped a video. It's almost a month and uh, it's quite unacceptable. So welcome back to a new year and back to my channel. I thought it was appropriate to start um, my channel off this year by obviously giving an update, um, having a little sit down with you guys. And yeah, I realized I didn't do a two year update back in October, end of October slash beginning of November of my two years in Uganda. So I figured because it's a new year and life update video, might as well throw that in here. So it has been two years and three months since I've moved here. Super exciting. Um, so much has happened and I figured so much has changed as well, so I thought, why not uh, do this video and kind of break it down? So I've decided to break this video down in five different parts. So it's going to be mind, body, soul, finances, and social. So I wanted to do it that way so it's a bit more intentional than just a general meandering. I think if you guys have seen my previous videos with updates, it's like I'm doing makeup and just generally talking. There's no like purpose to the video. Not, not purpose, but direction to the video. And I really wanted this one to be like that. So let's get into it. So the first topic we're going to talk about is mind. Um, everything I've been doing to kind of, you know, be in tune in that area of my life. And also keeping in mind the differences from two years ago when I first came to now. So uh, before I first, oh actually I think generally in my life I have a very huge issue I'm always like in hustle culture which is not healthy <laughs> and I'm learning that now with mind I realized I needed to start therapy and I think I've shared this with you guys many times on my channel that I've been in therapy before but I hadn't been in the last couple months like it's been like seven months and it's quite telling <laughs> actually um, so yeah I realized within my two years of being here as well as like being in my 30s there's been very two very big transitions been really helpful when I was very much in it um, it's still helpful now, all the tips and tricks that my therapist would give me at the time, and I'm realizing I need to make an appointment like next week, like actually this week and go back into it. Um, but just transitioning to a new country, it's so necessary. And also just being able to break down thoughts and how to deal with my mind. I'm an overthinker. It really was um, necessary to be able to hone it and be able to make it work for my in my advantage because I don't think you can really change yourself at your big age you figure out how to get hacks and tricks and whatnot in order to be able to you know figure things out another thing that I'm appreciating now and I'm realizing I enjoy thoroughly like I always knew I enjoyed but um, definitely reading more um, I realized by reading I'm more present and I'm in the moment and I'm kind of treating myself i'll have my tea it's like a routine i have my tea i have my good music just like muzak in the background no music with no words instrumental um which helps a lot with just like honing down my mind and stuff like that so i know not everybody's really into self-development but i think it's so important to take it seriously though especially the older that you get you know i'm not old but like the older that i get the more i appreciate my me time so that was a huge thing um, lastly that I want to mention with mind is being present. So I've realized that for me to be able to level up in my life and to be in a, in a better position, I need to be present to be able to understand the things I need to change, the things that are doing really well that I need to focus more on and whatnot. So just having more personal analysis and like checking in every hour and being like, how am I feeling? Where am I at? And all of that. So just basically emotionally maturing is a huge thing. And I've realized too, especially in the new year, you have this understanding after you've spent all your December being a waste person, that <laughs> you do need those moments like to hone yourself back in and being like, hey Rachel, this is your goals, this is what you need to be doing, where are you at? So being present helps a lot. And just being in the moment, like right now I'm recording and thinking about what I'm doing in this moment and recording and just being in the, this present moment recording <laughs> um, as opposed to thinking about like what I have to be doing later and all of that I just really want to practice that more of that and being here in these two years has made me realize that um, it's something that's super super important but yeah that pretty much wraps up mind I don't want to get too much into that um, next thing is body which is hilarious is like things I want to mention because I mentioned before that I didn't notice but now I'm like no I need to be intentional on 
Um, but yeah, we're gonna get into party. Moving to Africa, specifically Uganda, was really daunting with little to no information online about where to live, how to start a business, what to eat, where to hang out, all of that amazing stuff. So I figured I'd start a website where you can book um, a consultation with me and ask me whatever you like. Um, and then also updates based on the diaspora and community that we're growing here on YouTube. So definitely go and check out the website and join the community. In terms of body, um, I've realized I need to go to the gym. I'm an active person and I, like one of my sisters is like, because she, anyway, she keeps diagnosing all of us with ADHD and she's like, I think you might have ADHD and I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I do not, but I am a person where I'm very active. I need to be out doing things and whatever. And the gym keeps me grounded in that sense because like there goes my energy and then I can put it towards things I really want to focus on. So. Um, one thing that I was very adamant on before coming to Uganda and like what I was so about in Canada was gymming and I haven't been doing that and like, I could tell. You know what it is like you need to listen to your body, like listen to what your body says and go with it. Like I'm now realizing if I'm sleepy, I need to sleep. If I'm hungry, I need to eat. Like don't prolong those things for later. It's not healthy. It's not like it doesn't make sense and it messes up other areas of your body and your life so that's one thing i was super huge on was being in tune with my body i need to be going back to the gym this is a little self note to myself um and just going on walks too even like i live in an area that there's a lot of trees next to me like not where i live specifically but there's just like two streets down and i always find it the most like therapeutic thing ever so doing things more like that and staying in tune and you would assume because you're in africa you'd always be in nature <laughs> But I live in a city, which I love, um, and unfortunately that's not an everyday thing. So just making that more of a routine has been very, something I've noticed I need to do more of, um, and I actually really enjoy. Another thing that I realized is I have terrible eating habits. I used to eat so much. I was like round-faced and everything. I'm probably round-faced in this because of December and drinking, but <laughs> once all that comes down from just drinking water and getting it out of my system, Normally, I'm like more like round face. Like, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. I've just noticed that that's not what I am anymore. Uh, I lost a lot of weight moving to Uganda. I just don't snack as much. When I'm busy, I'm like out and about. I think the sun gives me energy. And then, <laughs> next thing you know, I was like five. I'm like, crap, I haven't eaten. I need to eat food. Um, so, that's one thing that I've realized in this two year update that I need to be more intentional about is meal prepping and um, getting on that. Uh, but what I do like, it's more organic, healthy foods. But people don't realize that uh, you're not as eating all the time, doing all that. Maybe when you're on vacation here, but not everyday living. Well, for me anyway, could be wrong. I think I need someone to cook for me daily. <laughs> We're getting to that point. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to mention, the last thing in body, which I think is kind of more conducive because I, like, like I said, I transitioned to a new, decade of life as opposed to like moving to africa but definitely self-care um i never took care of myself even in canada but now i'm realizing more of how important it is for me and how more of more it's not a luxury it's a necessity for me now so um even if it's like massages um just downtime when i have tea just like i said being present and just being in my moment and being like I'm having my tea right now. I'm just being zen in my moment. <laughs> finishing work at five and finishing and being guiltlessly happy with how the day has gone and not thinking about tomorrow's activities. Things like that. <laughs> I'm realizing for my body's sake is necessary. And I've just been listening to my body more and just being like, mm, this hurts, what's going on? ETC, ETC, but yeah. Something that's super important I realized in this two years that I can afford now being in Uganda, why not take care of myself on a regular basis? The third thing I wanna mention in this video is soul. So taking care of my soul more and having time with God, like being more intentional. I remember a long time ago reading a book and um, something that, I don't remember the book or the author, but it was something saying that like, when you make appointments, you never, um, you're always on time for them. You wanna be courteous to the person that you're meeting and you take it seriously. Like if it's Tuesday at 11, you're gonna be there at Tuesday at 11, right? Um, so that's just that and being like 6.30 a.m. is my time with God and 9.30 p.m. is my time with God. That's my time with God. If it's one minute coming to it, it's like I'm prepping, I'm getting ready and that's my time and being more intentional to take care of my soul. Um, I used to do this more in Canada. 
um, just because I didn't have a social life, which I'll get into later. <laughs> but now it's a bit more difficult. Like evenings, I have to FaceTime family because they're awake in Canada. Like they've just woken up. And then if I've talked talk to them for a period of time, then it's like, okay, I need to do the next thing, next thing. And next thing you know, I'm falling asleep and I need to go to bed. And that's not genuine time spent, like, you know, being connected and being like intentional in that moment with God, with myself. Because the more I realize I connect with God, the more I realize I connect with myself and being like more grounded and rooted. When I'm all foggy and my mind's all over the place and I'm not organized and my week's all messed up, I know I'm off. I know things are off. So that's something that I realized um, is very necessary and it's helped living alone. It's just hard with the time difference, keeping that on track and on point. But yeah, two year update, soul part, we're doing good. We could just be back on track. It goes up, up and down, has its moments, but that's life, right? <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna talk about is finances, which I love, you know, guys, I love, you know, talk, always love talking about the money and getting to the bag and whatever. Um, but one thing I noticed, tremendous difference. I hadn't been back to Canada since, well, I went in September. So before that, I hadn't been back since the pandemic had started. And having that happen, I kind of went through my savings. You guys know this story. I tell you guys this all the time. Um, I blew through my savings, things changed, blah, blah. So obviously, um, I was started doing things and earning in the shilling. And even though I had like online gigs or small gigs here and there, I would equate it and change it to the shilling. But then I'd be like, oh, but because I'm here, I need to reduce my rate card or my how much I charge and whatever. <clears throat> then I went back to Canada and I was like, so funny just spending and doing things in the dollar and I was dying laughing because I was like this amount in shillings that would be in Can Uganda being like oh but that's considered like a lot you know like maybe I shouldn't do that whereas in Canada I was just blow 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 and like ma. so it's so funny the difference and I was like I knew this before moving here I was like I could not I want to earn in the dollars spend in the shilling but I don't want to think in the shilling I'm gonna be thinking in dollars thinking in money thinking in because I listen, I want to buy a house. Like I want to buy, like get a car. I want to get investment properties. I want to be traveling everywhere. Like my mindset has to equate that. And I don't know when and where it changed, but I was like, I need to go to Canada more often to get that shift back and being like, it's not that serious. You know what I mean? Um, so I think that was one thing, huge update. Like I was doing that and I didn't even realize I was doing it and how badly I was doing. It. I'm back to thinking dollars. If you ain't, Everything is back in dollars, basically. <laughs> Very grateful for that. So that's my update. We're back. We're be we're back and we're better. Like, yeah, needed that. It was just weird. I don't know where that happened, but it is what it is. Um, then the other thing why I say this, and it's no offense to anything or anybody or whatever. It's just if you've been used to that for your whole life, that is the currency you're used to. Like, and I'm not even saying USD. I'm so used to Canadian dollars. I even want to train, so I think in USD. Like, that's how much I want to change my mindset. Um, but with just shilling, I noticed that I had a scarcity mindset because everything's like, I don't know if it's because of the numbering itself. Everything seems so much bigger. It's like, oh my God, that's spending so much on this. In reality, I'm like, that's like nothing. So to me, I just realized, yeah, I get, I needed to hone it in. Scarcity mindset out the door. We're back to dollars. Life is good. Like, I can't. I don't even know what I was like. It's a bar. I was like, even thinking of both. I was thinking it's so funny. <laughs> so another update that you guys obviously, maybe not obviously know, but I have mentioned various times. So in Canada, I, I, you know, I'm a very social person. You guys know this about me, hence my vlogs and stuff. Um, so up until maybe like twenty five, I want to say even twenty one, and then twenty five. Life trying to change and then I, things changed. But I was always out and about. I was living life. I actually really enjoyed it. I was always out, clubs, dinners, places, traveling, da, 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 da. Then mid 20s, it became more of just traveling, more so than clubs and stuff, but enjoyments nonetheless, going to all these different places, enjoying vineyards and whatever, living life. Then uh, uh, however, I would only do those things. It was only like when I would travel, then I'd have no social life, see nobody in Canada, just be with my family, myself, and work. Like I'm a workaholic, I have work issues. I, all I do is work, 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 work. And I don't know if I'll ever change, but I can change certain things. So now I'm coming to Uganda, I've had to learn to balance a social life because there's always something going on. It's insane. And I realized this December, although 
it has been it was the most mellow december it was still so much happening and in a disorganized way because there weren't like planned events so we're just scattered all over the place but by the time but Sama had left, which is people were just here for summer. Um, I was like, God damn, I'm drained. <laughs> I'm so drained. So now I'm trying to find a better way to balance. I feel like usually throughout the year, I've kind of figured it out, but in a guilty way. I want to be able to guiltlessly be like, I'm out, I'm present, I'm enjoying, I'm okay, I'm happy. And then when I'm working, I'm happy, I'm in my zone, I'm working, and then I'm done. Whatever I'm doing, I'm not, I'm in it in that moment, and I'm not overthinking in something else. So that's something I realized, um, update, that uh, for 2022, definitely want to focus on is balancing it in a healthy way, probably like going out more weekends and polite dinners and drinks this is a note to friends polite dinners and drinks <laughs> in the weekday and mostly weekends and then just kind of just spending more time with myself um but i i get bored easily hence why like why my weeks have to be different and my routines have to be different because i just be like i don't want to do this anymore um but yeah so definitely honing down social life but making it more quality what i'm in it if that makes sense so yeah, that pretty much sums up this video. It's been an amazing two years. Uh, I definitely want to take more breaks, hence also social life, just traveling more, like going to different places and just seeing different things and not just Kampala all the time, <laughs> as much as I love it. So that when I do go out, I'm like, oh my God, I missed this. I missed my, you know, being here, I missed being in Bukalobi, missed Bandali Rise. I want to miss things. I don't want to be like, oh my God, I'm doing the same thing every weekend. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my update for everything. Can't wait to hear what you guys have planned for this 2022, how your year is going. It's only been three weeks so far, but do leave a comment below in the description. Let's have a little fun discussion. Last thing I want to mention before I close off this video is I really want to focus this, uh, this channel more around developing in Africa. We have moved, we've been moving, so moving to Africa series will probably come to a close now. It's not that I won't be doing the same material. It will still be the same, but more on an emphasis of thriving while living in Africa. So thriving while you move here in Uganda, um, focusing more on economic development, financial growth while you're here, business deals, showcasing businesses doing great things, still where to live and all of these other things that I've been doing, but just more on an emphasis of while you're here. Um, but yeah, so please do leave any suggestions in the comment box below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, you are a real MVP. And yeah, I will check you guys in my next video. Bye guys.